This is Travel in 10, a series of 10-minute travel shows from around the world that you can download to your iPod and take with you as you travel. And now, your host, David Brody. This is Travel in 10, and welcome to our countdown to the 2010 Winter Olympic Games here in Vancouver. It's now just a little over 30 days until the Games begin, and it will be one of the biggest parties on the planet. Come back and check our iPod app for all kinds of ideas on where to go, what to see, the best restaurants, festivals, and events happening here in town throughout the Games. Vancouver, British Columbia is consistently rated as the best city in the world to live in, and you can certainly see why. Situated on the Pacific Ocean, surrounded by spectacular mountains, it's an amazing place to live. It's also going to be an amazing place to visit this year for the 2010 Winter Olympics. And that's why people from around the world are already starting to gather for what's going to be a spectacular event. And you can certainly see this excitement building throughout the city with anyone that you speak to. We are so excited about the Olympics. Every day when you listen to the radio, the countdown is, you know, 35 days, 34 days, 33 days. It's really, really exciting. We have been preparing for this for seven years, and it's hard to believe that it's finally coming. Film crews are arriving, the athletes are arriving for the final days of training. So it's all very exciting. It'll be a lot of fun. Everything's complete and ready to go, and I think we're just waiting to welcome the world. And as we prepare to welcome the world, one of everyone's big questions is where to stay. We've got uh, accommodation available now. Downtown Vancouver, as, as you can imagine in any games, is, is pretty much taken care of by the Olympic family, but we've got apartment rentals, we've got uh, bed and breakfast, we've got accommodation outside the, the core of Vancouver. Um, it'll be a little bit of a drive, but you can be out in the Fraser Valley or out in the Sunshine Coast and have a wonderful British Columbia experience in those locations. As hotels start to book up, there's also some really interesting options opening up in terms of alternative accommodation throughout town. One of the great things for people both living in Vancouver and those here visiting are all the great beaches right in the middle of the city. Right now we're at Jericho Beach, which as you can see is a great place for beach volleyball, for sun tanning, and on a nice day not a bad place for a swim either, although the water's always pretty cold here year round. Behind us is another beach called Spanish Banks, and just across from here, another one called English Bay. Both Jericho Beach and Spanish Banks are going to be transformed during the games when the Vancouver Park Board is actually opening up both parks to become RV camping lots during the games. I think this is one of the greatest alternative accommodation options that you could find in Vancouver. You can rent both the RV itself as well as your camping space. Spaces themselves go for about $95 a day. If you're looking for a space and an RV both as part of your rental, then you're looking in the two to $300 range and up depending on what type of accommodations you're looking for. But you're going to get great sunset views. Sure, it might get a little cold when you're down on the beach, but as long as you're prepared for that, this is one of the best places in the city for checking out all the festivities that'll be going on. Another great alternative for accommodations is over in North Vancouver, where Holland America is actually going to be bringing in a cruise ship. If you go to our iPod app and download the bonus information, you'll see the links for all the reservations pages where you can book these types of accommodations, and I think this is one of the best ones you could choose. You'll be in a great location where you can get the buses to Cyprus, to Whistler for different events, and also you have great access to the transportation system to get back anywhere you need in Vancouver. So everyone's other question is, are there still tickets available for any of the events at the Games? Right now, Bannock has provided a reselling uh, opportunity on their website, so that's the first place to go. Um, as well as, there's going to be uh, opportunities, there's, there's contesting, Tourism BC has a contest to get some tickets, and uh, if you can't actually get a ticket to an event, there's all kinds of other things, the Cultural Olympiad, um, the live sites, there's, there's something for everyone. The other big challenge for any international event like this is finding ways to get around the city. Luckily, there's lots of alternatives in Vancouver. We love to walk. We're a walking city. So get out there and walk. Um, there's two really cool and really unique ways that you can experience Vancouver from the water. Aquabus ferry system. Uh, they travel in an area called False Creek. And um, it's a very inexpensive way you can go um, from point to point. That's a really great way to see the city from the water option is the C bus, um, which is part of actually our public transit system. And for just a couple of bucks you can take, it's a, it's a passenger ferry and it will, it will take you out of downtown Vancouver over to uh, Lonsdale Quay in North Vancouver, which has a great public market. Another suggestion is to check out the new SkyTrain from the airport. Don't forget the Canada Line. You can land at Vancouver International Airport, hop the Canada Line, and in 24 minutes you're in downtown Vancouver. The Canada Line is a great new, inexpensive, and convenient option to get to the airport, and the new airport station has some great Aboriginal art worth checking out. Remember, the SkyTrain can get you to all parts of the city, and if you have an Olympic event ticket, you can actually travel free on public transit throughout the day. Be aware, though, transit officials are warning there may be a two- to three-hour wait some days. One other option you may want to consider are the new hybrid taxis that you can find throughout Vancouver as well. So with that, and some suggestions on how to get around the city, we'll now let you watch a final video to get ready for the games.
Thanks for watching the Travel in 10 podcast, a series of 10 minute travel shows from around the world that you can download to your iPod and take with you as you travel. You can find more shows at www.travelin10.com or by searching for Travel in 10 on iTunes.